Hello, I'm Endo. Welcome back to the weekly top five for Stormworks. We are starting off with the Boeing 777-200 United Airlines, and this is by Enzo Cats. And we are in pretty low physics right now. So let's uh, swap up with some, uh, I don't know, medium? Let's try medium. Let's see if that's doable. It's a little bit, uh, I'm, I get worried when I go down to uh, low because landing gear on these planes sometimes collapses. Are you okay? Are you, are you guys okay? Maybe they're locked in place. So that's good. Look, it's got like all these controls on this thing. APU shut down. Wow, that's cool. Okay, can we get inside it? What's that? What's that? Oh, whoa. What is that? Door lights, bay lights. I don't know what that is. I should not press things that I don't know what they are. But, here, let's, yeah, let's stop, stop. Just stop pressing things. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me close that. Should not press things. But anyways, just this has little features here that are cool. Okay, so um, yeah, we're gonna cheat to get in because there's no um ladder thing about Bobby thing. So let's just cheat. Okay, let's just do that. Okay, so we're gonna start in the back of the plane and look at this. This is a crazy amount of detail in the cabinet area. That looks that looks amazing. Not gonna lie, looks amazing. Uh, can we turn some of these art emergency lights? Okay, let's not turn those on. Light attendant panel. Uh, don't touch that. Don't touch that. Just stop. Stop touching things. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Should I open the door just to see what it looks like? Ah, look at that door. That's an interesting door. And that locked in place. Now unlocked. Okay, cool. This is like, oh, you even got the cabin inner phone. Inner, is that what it's called? Inner phone. Yeah. We are preparing. Okay. There's no electricity. Maybe you have to turn it on. Hold on. Service. Maybe can't turn on that? No, 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 no. Okay, we need we need some batteries. We need some juice. So let's just tour through here. We've got, uh, oh, we've got uh, artwork on the back of the seats. Okay, that's a nice way to approach it. So you get the detail in the back of the seats more than you usually do. So usually you have like the, the padding thing they kind of do in the front with the uh, microcontrollers. But this one they did it with the, uh, or Enzo Cats actually, did it with the artwork in the back. So when you're walking down, you kind of see all the, uh, you know, the little panels you put down and all that stuff. Oh, these have TVs. This must be the better seating. Can I sit down? Oh, nice. You can sit down in this one. I like that. Okay. Are we getting upper class here? No, we have no power. We have no power in this thing. We need to go and get some power on. And that means, whoa, hello. This must be, I'll, I'll never see that section. So I'm not even gonna look at that section because I'll never be in that section. So let's uh, open the door. Nice, okay, all right. <laughs> oh boy, okay. I'm guessing it needs instructions. I'm guessing, just, just guessing okay where do we start oh if you could only color coordinate each one of these that would be so helpful it's like look by the pink one okay where's the pink one and so why do you hate me so at least release this on tuesday so i won't see it on monday and so come on man you didn't even put a picture on the oh wait you did put a picture hold on hold the phone here boom oh nailed it Say APU, oh, APU gen on. Oh, they're supposed to be on the same time. All right, I, I didn't see the slash. That's fine. My fault. Okay, now can I turn on the AIDIR? No, 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 I cannot. Maybe they're not fully powered yet. Why isn't that on? Why can't I turn this on? Why not? Oh, oh, lights came on. Does that mean I can turn these on now? Oh, oh, we got it. We just had to wait, okay. And then thrust computer and cabin utility. Heck yeah. Okay, is there something down here that I'm missing? Left fuel switch. Is that it? Yes, it is. Okay, then let's turn on the right one. And turn on the right one. Boom! APU off. Left, right, packs on again? What are packs, I wonder? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just clicking these buttons, but okay, left, right, packs on. All right, so I think that is good. Once the cockpit has power, the simple checklist is substituted for electric checklist, which contains more comprehensive checklist for startup, flight, and shutdown, as well as abnormal situations. Instructions for using ECL are included in the linked guide. Oh, come on, man. It's already hard enough. Okay, let's go into the captain's chair. Ah, oh, it's nice and quiet. There's no more instructions. What does that mean for me? It means that we're going to try to take off release parking brake. That seems like a good thing. Arm speed brakes. That doesn't seem like a very good thing for me. That is the throttle. Max is 125, sends 10%. What does that mean? You know what this means? 
where are we at, by the way? We're at the right airport. And this is where we're going to want to land, maybe? I don't know. Let's just get up in the air and see what happens. Oh, by the way, he's doing these. I saw him in the back when I was, like, looking through. These are projected onto another uh, camera. That's how he gets them so tiny and clear. All right. Let's do this. Okay. I can do it. I believe I can fly. I believe I'm moving. Okay. Okay. Oh, this feels heavy. This feels so heavy. Like, yeah, it feels heavy. This feels good. I like this. Uh oh, the wheels are having trouble because they are in low physics mode. Oh, I'm so sorry. Can I put on high physics mode real quick to fix you? Let's try it. Oh, uh, no. Did they break? That sucks. All right. Let's try to um, try to get those landing gear up. Where would my landing gear be if I were a landing gear? Landing gear. All right. There you go. Come on, boys. Fix yourselves. Look at that go up. That looks amazing. Oh, look at inside. You can even see inside. It looks amazing. Inside the wheel well. There they go. Wow. That is nice. Alright, so we are flying. And, um... Yeah, we did it. Now, it has an add-on for, like, landing or something. But... I don't see the dummy's guide right here, so... We're probably not going to do that. I know Ender Pilot had a nice little landing thing. Maybe that's the same one as this one. So, I know it works. I just don't know how to use it offhand. Okay, let's see where we're at here. Way over there? Wow, I traveled quite far. Okay. So, we are on high physics, so it's going to be a little bit slow. You're going to want to download this before um, I destroy it. So, go ahead and use the link below to give it a try. And I'm just going to go ahead and lower the landing gear again. Where's that? Where's that? Okay, there we go. Here it comes down. Nice. That is so nice. Look at that. Looks lovely. Remember, high physics, though. Kind of required to make this work. I don't know what that alarm is, but it doesn't sound good. We're coming in really bad. Oh, crap. I forgot. See, every time I... Ooh, don't, 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 don't. This is not good. Yeah, how would you like to be on my plane? I'm coming in way too... late. That's what I am. I'm too late. Okay, let's, uh... Should we go around? I feel like we should go around. Kind of easier to fly when you're in slow motion. Not gonna lie. Helps me. And so, cats, I apologize for anything that is about to happen shortly after I turn around. Okay, here we go. Ready? Okay, this is a moment. Ooh. Okay, Doki. Nose up. Nose up. Nose up. Okay. Oh. Okay. Slow motion for the win here. And, uh, there you go. It didn't blow up. One of my first landings of 2024 that has not blown up. This is the Boeing 777-200 United Airlines by EnzoCats, and you can download it using the link below and give it a try. And, uh, hopefully your computer can handle high physics, so, you know, your landing gear will behave a lot better. Like this one. All right, let's get to number four. All right, coming at number four, if I can jump into my beautiful blue water here. This is a mod if you want the mod. It is linked below, but this is number four, and this is... Let me get in the driver's seat so we can see the outside and zoom in. This is the Regal Bit Reba Center Console Fishing Boat, and this is by 454S. Uh, with the fishing update, the fishing rod update coming out, and then talk about a fishing major update with commercial fishing being talked about. Fishing boats are all the rage, so we will be probably seeing more than one fishing boat today. So this has like the outboard motors, as you can see. And uh, yeah, it's just a nice little compact fishing boat. Let's uh, turn it on. Hopefully I can't break it within 30 seconds. Let's see, release bottom connectors, sliding, reverse, map view. Okay, cool. Cabin lights, always nice. Fun spotlight. Side spotlights and a heater. I think it's pretty straightforward. What is that? I want to see what that is. That is gear. Okay. So there we go. Let's uh let's give it a try. Wait, let's see what the controls are. They're all steering air horn and radar. 
Let's see the radar. Oh, what's that? Old heading. Okay. Oh, that just turns on the radar right there. What do we need the radar for? Is there a thing? Like a screen for the radar? Oh, there's a the radar. Okay, cool. Alright. Alright, let's, uh, let's go. So, pushing W. I don't have to mess with any, uh, what you call it? Any clutches. I can just press W, which is always nice with boats, uh, because it makes it easy for me not to break it. So, it turns really nice. I think it's turning... I'm not too sure. Is it using... Thrust vectoring? I don't know. Not too sure if it's using... I don't know. I think it must be using... I don't know. Oh! Crap. Um, let's just respawn it again really quick. So, where were we? Well, we were... We were driving along. That's where we were. And we're going out this way. And we're trying to figure out... Or I was trying to figure out... Whether it's doing thrust vectoring. Because it doesn't look like it's moving the motors. So there's no... Yeah, there's no... What you call it? Ah, uh, pivots. There's no pivots. Oh, wait. Oh, there it is. There's a little fin there. Is that the whole thing? Little fin moving everything? Or is it changing the thrust? I don't know. Does it say? Yeah, I don't know. But anyways, this is number four. And you can download it below. And give it a try. It seems to be very stable. If I turn left, if I turn right, it is not flipping over. It's not doing anything. It's just staying where it's supposed to be. Which is in the water. So, a cool little fishing boat. And you can download it using the link in the description below. Let's get to number three. Guess what number three is? Yes, if you guessed a pudgy fishing boat, you are correct. This is the FB St. Peter, and this is by Skeeter80. And this is kind of a neat looking ship, for sure. Did you see? Oh, look at that. That's interesting. How is that? Oh, that's a pivot there. Okay, I was going to say, how did they do that? Here, okay. Let's go inside. I didn't lose my flashlight yet, so I didn't die. We've got lights, we've got a kitchen. Got a stove. We've got oh no, Mr. Lennon's TV. So sad. Uh, we got beds. Oh, that's kind of nice. Wash and dryer. And oh, a secret room to the bathroom. Okay. Cool. Let's go back here. Let's see what we have. We've got. Not too sure what this is. Like supply room, maybe. What's this? Bait locker. It's locked. Can't get in there because there's no bait in the game. That's why. I don't know if that's why, but I'm just gonna pretend like that's why it's locked. There is no bait in the game. What is this? What's this? Is this like a hole? Should I go down there? Yeah, why not? Okay. So this is like a hole. Oh, look at that. There's a way to get out, too. Holy moly, I like this guy. He makes an escape hatch for me. Okay. So that's all of this part. That's cool. Is there anything back here that we need to see? This is the crane. Maybe for... I'm not too sure what it's for. What are, is it for this thing? What is that thing? I don't even know what that is. Kind of cool looking. All right, let's go ahead and go up to the front and see what's going on. Alrighty, open this up. Oh, this is our inside our helm. Oops, oops, I'm bouncing. I just wanted to check out the front real quick. This is a front, we've got the radar on top. Okay, let's go inside again. Wait, we have a ladder. We can go up here and look around. All right, cool. So let us go in here. And what do we have in here, you ask? I say there's a bathroom. I was wrong. There's a bedroom. Yes! Mr. Lennon's television set. I still think you should name yourself Mr. Washington. Might be more popular, but we'll go with Mr. Lennon's television set. Okay, let me turn on the lights. All right, let's see. What do we have here? This is passenger seat. We have a button. For the, oh, for a heater. Okay. All right, let's get inside. Is this an easy to drive boat? Let's hope so. We got lights, we got radar, we got map. We've got instrument lights. We've got ignition. A simple switch. That's different. Not a key. Okay. We've got throttle WS, reverse one. And this is what it looks like. It's a compact little guy. And look how pudgy he is. He goes underwater. He's like super pudgy big boat that goes underwater. I don't know what that means. It looks like a giant guppy is what I'm trying to say. Oh, what's going on? It looks like it might be dangerous during bad weather. I don't think I pushed any sinking buttons, but it seems to be kind of having trouble balancing. It might be the way the hole is designed or something. Maybe not enough weight in the bottom. I don't know. But it is a little bit scary. Let's check it out at night. Okay, here it is at night. Oh, look at the lighting in this mod. It's kind of interesting. You can kind of see down at the bottom really well. And, uh, okay, very cool. So let's uh, bring on some stormy weather. Check it out. I'm just kind of curious if it's gonna 
be able to stay alive. Okay. So far, so good. I'm going to go into the waves. Yeah, okay. Now, if I were to turn, is it going to flip me over or am I okay? Yeah, it seems to be pretty stable, even though it kind of moves around left and right quite a bit. Okay, like that one? It's pretty far right, but it writes itself. Yeah, I don't know. Interesting design. It's very uh, weebly-wobbly, but it still stands up. So anyways, a very cool build. This is the FB St. Peter, and this is by Skeeter80. And you can download it using the links below. Let's get to number two, I think. Oh yeah, number two. Yeah, number two. Let's get to number two. All right, coming in number two is this little girl. I was going to say guy, but this is the Genie C. And apparently this is a boat based off a song? Is that what I'm getting? Based off the folk song, The G Genie C by Stan Rogers. And this is by Avid Haver of Time. So, yeah. So it's a little fishing boat, of course. We're doing fishing boats. And we've got that little place for putting fish, I assume. You know what I haven't seen? Is there anybody putting fishing rods on their boats? Because I don't see fishing rods on the boats. There's ropes. There's... What's this? Bridge lights? Dorm lights? Engine room lights. That's nice. Uh, but yeah, there's... I don't I haven't seen any fishing rods. Look, rope. Rope. There's just rope. Okay, wait. Let's go check out down below. Okay, we've got a harpoon. Oh, hello. Hello. That's what I wanted. Uh, we got a fishing rod. And then we have a nice little room of supplies here. A little place to sit down. This looks like the little engine room. It's using a standard engine. Nice. And uh, overall, just a really nicely laid out build. It's fun. It's just a fun little build. Something you can play with without worrying about frame rate. So, very nice. All right, let's go ahead and turn on the fuel pumps, probably. And turn on the ignition. Okay. We need to get a little throttle here. Navigation lights. Let me turn this off. Oh, uh, wait. This one uses clutch. Okay. So we've got clutch and throttle. Ooh, we're moving. But there we go. It's a cute little boat. Are boats just more bouncy now? I haven't played with boats for a while since the Space DLC came in. But they seem a little bit more bouncy. Am I right? Am I wrong? Let me know in the comments below. So anyways, let's uh let's go fishing. See what we catch. And out you go. Kind of. We'll do some uh what is it called? This is called trawling. Just trawling, trolling. I don't know what this is called, but we're doing this. Have you seen fish? Is there no fish up in North Harbor? Hello? Fishies! We are out of luck. There's no fish. No fish in North Harbor. How is that possible? Also, that's kind of bouncing around. Maybe they can't find it. Anyways, this is number two. You can download it using the link below. And, uh, yeah, go fishing. A nice little boat. And maybe go listen to the song. I don't know what the song is, but go check out the song. Oh, you know what? We can check it at night. Let's see that. And there she is at night. She's got her spotlights and her spotlight down the water and a little backlight there really nice little boat download it using the links below let's get to number one all right can you guess what number one is if you guessed mv seagull great lakes fishing tug or fish tug not fishing tug fish tug you would be correct and can you guess who this is by just by looking at it hmm if you guessed joff ready be correct so let's give it a try my inside oh i am inside now okay so here we have like a little, wow, look at this. This is like, get all your friends in here and just go crazy. Is there fish out there? I don't see any fish, but you get all your friends and you just get in this tug here. Where are my fish? Did I break the game? Are there no fish in North Harbor? Maybe not. I wish I could put the fishing rod inside like a cup holder or whatever they call them. Fishing rod holder. That would be cool. Anyways, let's go continue with our tour here. So we've got a little area for people to fish out the thing of a thing. So we have a little fishing area here so everybody can like just fish and they have like their hoppers. And I like the way he used glass to kind of put the uh, sides of it, the net and all that stuff or basket, I guess. So very cool. Let's go ahead and go. Is there a downstairs? There's lights. Is there a downstairs? Oh, there's. There we go. Engine room. Okay. Engine room. But it's using a modular engine. And I 
can't move around here, so we can only go on one side of the engine. Okay, so I assume the other side of the engine is the same as this side, so we don't care. Fine. And let's go up in here. We've got a little bedroom. We've got a way to get up on the deck. Let's see what's up here. Oh, we've got an emergency boat. Always good to have. We go around here. We've got fuel ports. We've got a, what you call it, sunlight that goes in here. And we've got a little bookshelf with like a toy ship, it looks like. So let's go ahead and go into the helm. Oh, there's a way down. Can I get up through here? Oh, I can. Okay, that's cool. It links right through there. Okay, nice. No, we don't want reverse. We want engine ignition. We've got clutch and we've got throttle. There's the clutch. I mean, there's the throttle. Here's the clutch. And here we go. All right. Feels balanced. It's not really, it's not really going left and right too hard. But uh, yeah, that's it. It looks good. It's a cute little uh, fish boat thing. I guess you can get all your friends on here. Fish out the windows. I wish I could find some fish. Am I blind? Are there no fish up here in the north? That is so weird because when I spawn at the south thing, I get fish like crazy. Wait, was that a fish? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's see if we can do this. Hold on. Send this throttle out here. Okay, let's. I just want to catch a fish on a fishing tug before we get to the extra five. Let's come out here. Give me a fish. Give me a fish. While we're waiting, let's do the extra five. Coming number five on the extra five is my friend and yours, Frantic Maddie, with the Frantic Diesel Locomotive. A really cool looking little train with yellow and red. And uh, yeah, it has, just has a nice shape, nice chiseled edges. And uh, yeah, looks nice. So give it a try. You can download it using the link below. Coming at number four is Zyzo's Trawler Fishing. And what this is, is he's using the, the bends to put them underwater and catch fish like a net, basically. Very clever, kind of exploiting the game mechanics. And uh, yeah, so give it a try. Coming at number three is a multi-roll field gun by someone we haven't seen for a while, Eight Pennies Deep, also a YouTuber. So make sure you check out his channel and check out his builds. They're always very colorful and apparently deadly. So yeah, check it out. Coming at number two, the FB Not Paid For, which is a clever name, which is a fishing boat. And it looks really cool. It looks, are those like black bricks? I guess like fake windows, like they're tinted? I don't know. But uh, it is by E-Train and FJ Warner. And if it's by them, it's probably easy to start, get going and use. So give it a try. Finally, coming at number one on the Extra 5 today is the RN622 Tryon Guided Missile Cruiser, and this is by Cam. It looks lovely, it looks deadly, and you should give it a try by using the link below. So make sure you go and visit all of these guys, and make sure you leave a comment on their workshop to let them know that you tried their build. Alright, and here we are back in the game. Do I have a fish? I don't have a fish! I've been sitting here forever! Yeah, yeah, get my- really? Really? You're not gonna- what is up with this? I'm not even moving. All right, here, let me, let me pull this back out of the water. This takes forever. I think we'll just flip it and flip it like that. That makes it quicker. Okay, let's do it one more time. There we go. That looks like a big fish. We're gonna end today's video by catching a red mullet. And then we can put it in the hopper. Too bad it doesn't say how many pounds it is. But anyways, and then we're gonna say goodbye. So thanks for joining me. I'm Endo, and if you liked the video, click like. If you didn't like the video, click don't like. And remember, it's free to tell me what you think in the comments below, and even with likes and dislikes. So use them. Free features. No charge. Click all you want, and I'll see you next time.